The cutting edge image technology that provides- You've put hundreds, if not thousands of dollars into your entertainment system and can't wait to show it off. But have you thought about the minutia that goes into making your system look and sound its absolute best? Here are some tips the Vice President of Global Technology at THX and I have put together for those wanting to show off their entertainment systems for the first time. Experience the movies you love like never before. For those of you watching this, I'm assuming you have setups similar to mine. A 4K HDR TV of at least 55 inches, a 5.1 or larger surround sound system, an audio video receiver, and a 4K Blu-ray disc player. Depending on how you want to do this, you might want to get an Apple TV device as well. And no, you cannot get the same experience from streaming something. It's still not possible with today's internet speeds to match the quality of streaming a movie versus watching them on disc. If you want to learn more about the benefits of buying movies on disc versus streaming them, watch my video about it after this one. It goes without saying, the first thing you should do is calibrate your television and sound system. You can watch as many videos as you'd like or read to your heart's content about calibrating your devices. But the truth is, only you know what looks and sounds best because literally every single device will look and sound different in every environment. Color, contrast, volume of sound are subject to the owner's preference. What looks good to someone else may not look good to you or look good in your environment. You might prefer colors very saturated on screen while someone else prefers a more muted look. However, a couple of things should be universal for everybody in their setup. Your viewing angle from your TV should be eye level and center if possible. Your head should be no more or no less than 15 degrees above or below the TV and no more than 30 degrees to either side. Your speakers should be close to ear level or as much as possible. The location of your subwoofer or subwoofers will depend on the room you're in. If you want to take setting up your speakers a bit further, you can download a free program called REW. REW allows you to enter in how many subs you have alongside the dimensions of the room. You'll be able to see if you're having any distortions of the low frequencies based on the locations of your subwoofers. The idea is to try and get this line as straight as possible. It will never be totally straight, but moving your subs around will greatly increase the experience. A link to this program is in the description below. Speaking of the environment, be sure to add a rug if you have hard floors, close the curtains and shut any doors and windows. Once you and your friend are seated in your room, the first thing you should demo is actually music, according to Steve Martz, 25-year employee and now Vice President of Global Technologies at THX. Let's start off with some music, right? Something that either has some you know, great detail and, and locational information, um, some very good punchy bass, not big, you know, boom, boomy resonant bass, but something that's really tight and punchy. So it shows off the, uh, the power of the system, the clarity of the system. And so people get like, wow, I can kind of you know, kind of see how good what this is. Um, I would definitely do movies last because those tend to be large, resonant things, filling up the room with volume, um, kind of more power um, in a in a more enveloping, immersive way than um, than than the music shows that off. So the music will show the the clarity, the detail. You know, get some good songs that, that give you um, some of the punch and some of the, uh, the the clarity, and then you know go through a couple, you know, the good great you know, fighter battle scenes in in, in a movie. If you have something larger than a 5.1 system, like Dolby Atmos, Apple makes it really easy to stream their music utilizing the spatial audio format. Even if you don't have an Atmos capable system, stream high fidelity lossless music over your speakers first. You can most definitely pop in a Blu-ray of a concert that's recorded in spatial audio, but you'll have to close your eyes since the whole point of playing the music first is to not see anything and have your mind totally on the audio.
a sense of environment is there, right? So you can get like, especially if you're um, using an immersive sound system or something like that, you can like, I mean, I really feel inside this auditorium or arena that, I, that they're um, doing the concert in. You get all the cues. You feel like you're part of the audience. Um, and, you know, with, you know, the way it's mixed, you get a lot of direct input from uh, from the microphones on stage. So you get a lot of clarity, um, plus all the um, the audience mics, stuff like that, really give you that sort of tingle of, of something magical. So um, a TGX sound system will help deliver that, right? Um, but then, you know, regular music, you know, stereo music, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, even a 5.1. Um, type of mix, which that that is even better, of course, because you have all the directional information you get put inside the mix. But even the stereo, you know, you kind of then you see the power of left and right and the clarity of your speakers, you know. Now that you've shown off all that directional sound from the speakers, it's time to pop in a movie into your 4K player. You want to, of course, choose movies that have a fantastic high dynamic range grading on top of a fantastic sound mix. For more tips on your home theater from THX, be sure to head to the FAQ section in the description below. Do you guys have any tips of your own? What are your go-to movies for showing off your system? Let me know in the comment section below. This is Movie University, education and cinema.